so Fahrenheit. Clark, do you want to know if I've ever been attacked or charged um, by an animal while I'm on safari? Clark, yes, I used to be six foot four and I'm now five foot eight, so you know that the trials and tribulations of being a safari guide have, have knocked some six inches off my height. Sorry, it's ten inches. No, I'm being facetious. Um, eight inches, I mean. Uh, Cl Clark, I, I have been charged from time to time by various creatures. Um, normally, when I've got too close and I've made the animal feel threatened, normally, Clark, animals will move away when they feel threatened. And we as human beings, especially on foot, threaten animals. We make them feel afraid because they see us as predators. And so normally then they will walk away and move away from us. Unless we get so close uh, that the animals feel cornered. And if they feel cornered, then they will turn around and attack. So yes, I've been charged once or twice by buffalo and elephant, one or two times by lions and sometimes by leopards. It doesn't happen very often and almost always. It's been because I have been insensitive to the needs of the animals that I've been looking at or trying to track or trying to find. And so it's very important you understand. Uh, you know, a lot of people will tell you that being a guide or being a ranger out here is very dangerous because they want to come across as being big and tough and manly and, uh, you know, kind of uh, braver than everyone else. But in actual fact, the, doing the job that I do is much more about a sensitivity to the creatures that you look at. That is a tremendously powerful animal you're looking at. She could kill you with one swat of her front paw, but she doesn't want to. And so to provoke her into making, into wanting to, you've really got to do something pretty stupid most of the time. Of course, sometimes we may have accidents, uh, we make mistakes, we get into animal spaces, and they don't like that. Um, but uh, by and large, if you are careful and you respect animals, especially like the ones that Jamie's going to show you now, you would be absolutely fine. Let's head across to Jamie for an animal that most people fear, but that is actually normally very kind to us.